first up, here's our winner from last week. Please send us an email and we'll get you your free game. If you'd like to win a free game, all you need to do is be subscribed to the channel and leave those totally normal comments down below. No beating around the bush, this end of year sale is probably one of the best the US regions have seen. And we've finally got US region access on our website so you can save 10% more than all of the offers you're about to see if you buy your eShop codes using code SWITCHUP over at switchup.gg. Sorry it took so long, I know we've had the EU regions for ages but Nintendo don't work with just anyone so yeah it's a, it's a big privilege and an honour really. And it saves you guys an extra 10% on all of these. All the links and everything will be in the description. First things first, congratulations to the winner of the free game from last week we have our big 12 days of switch up starting over the next well 12 days leading up to christmas eve i think you guys are gonna love it to be honest it's been a lot of hard work but yeah it's pretty sweet with all of that said what are the end of year sales in the u.s region well let's find out Remember, it's stupidly easy to set up a different region eShop account and it really is worth doing as Nintendo keep doing this where they have a deal in one region that's not in the other region. First up then, we've got Ori and the Will of the Wisps. This one's 60% off or 70% if you use our discount code, taking it down to $11.99. That's the lowest it's ever been on sale and that's until December the 16th. Now, straight away, Moon Studios didn't just rest on their laurels after the first game, which was admittedly excellent. I'd say they improved every mechanic in the game. They even added on some almost online racing aspects where you're competing for the best time across the world. It's a metroidvania and it sees you on a journey to rescue a missing companion. Well crafted combat, really refined controls and some of the best boss fights in any metroidvania led this to be I think maybe my top one or two scores of all time. Check out the review if you want to know a bit more about it and it's going to take you around about 15 to 20 hours to finish. A complete steal at this price. Also at its lowest price, we have Spiritfarer. This is a single or two player experience and it's a 6.4 gigabyte download and it comes from Thunder Lotus Games. Now it describes itself as a cozy management game about dying. Um, yeah. I asked Glenn, he's been playing through this, and I asked him if it was suitable for kids, and he was like, nah, not really, it's a bit borderline, it's quite adult, despite appearances, but you play as Stella, who is a fairy master to the deceased, but what really intrigued me, and I think a lot of people before it came out, was how you have to build up your boat, and then you use that to go exploring, there's fishing, harvesting, cooking, but everything is done so well, it's a bit of an essential pickup. this, comes from Thunder Lotus Games, they've got some really nice titles already out on the Switch, like Jotun, um, but this one is quite different, it's going to take you around about mm, 30 to 50 hours to do everything but it would be a nice one for a couple i'd say to work their way through half price until december the 16th and that's the cheapest it's ever been Next up then we've got Doom Eternal. You can get the Deluxe Edition as well if you want. That's also on the same percentage discount. That probably does make a bit of sense, honestly. But they're both quite big downloads. I think the Deluxe Edition is about 29 gigs. If you've not played the Doom games, particularly the modern ones, they're very, very fast paced. They're actually quite free flowing. There's a bit of verticality in this, in this one. But I'd say it's probably their killing mechanic. That sounds terrible. But the mechanics they have for the melee kills, which really set them apart. They have some brutal glory kills. And the state Stages themselves are quite intricately designed. You can pick up the Ancient Gods expansion pass if you already own these, and that's currently half price as well. And you're looking at around about 20 to 30 hours to do absolutely everything. As the others, the sale goes on until December the 16th. Then we've got this week's kids pick, which is The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Let's be honest, it's not a kids pick, this is an everybody's pick. This one's currently 30% off, that seems to be the lowest Nintendo are ever willing to go. Obviously, once again, you can add 10% to that if you use our website. So 40% off is a decent little drop, although you can probably find it cheaper if you go out and buy it physically. It's the same as the original game, essentially you wake up in a strange land, you're trying to find out exactly what's happened, and to do so, you'll have to go through old school dungeons. They've revamped things like the soundtrack and obviously the visuals and for some reason this one didn't get quite the fanfare um, of some other games that we've had from Nintendo but I personally thought it was brilliant. It's a reasonable size of 5.8 gigs and if you've got a lot of nostalgia for the original I don't think it's one of those games where you're going to be like oh what have they done they've ruined it they've stuck essentially to what you grew up with but with nicer visuals and sound.
Then there's The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. We have to mention this because it just doesn't go on sale very often. Once again, the classic 30% discount, but I know you can buy it physically for much cheaper on places like Amazon at the moment. This one, which I didn't realize actually carries a 97% Metacrit Metacritic rating. Metacritic? Yeah, 97%. That's unbelievably high. Whether or not I think it's 97% game, I'm trying to think of our system now and how I would score it. I think it would be about 95. Still an incredible game. But yeah, wow. It's uh, a lot of people, I think didn't enjoy how different it was to the older ones. They missed some of their classic style dungeons. But personally, I thought it was such a relaxing game. Just those moments of walking across the plains. There's no music. There's no real distraction sometimes. Literally just watching the sun go down or getting a horse and just going for a ride. There's something special about this one. And, and when people are like, oh, it's rubbish, it's garbage. I'm like, nah, you're just wrong. Making this has made me want to go and play it again. Next up, we've got the recently released Dying Light Platinum Edition, which is currently 30% off. Well, it's 25% off on the issue shop or 30% off if you're going to buy it physically and it launched in a very impressive state like it was looking way better than anyone thought it was going to and it ran better but it had a few issues in terms of an uncapped frame rate it was a bit up and down and a bit jittery at times they've actually gone back already and patched this so it's locked out at 30 frames per second and it's just brilliant really a nice version of the game to play through it has online aspects and that's where the biggest issues have, have come for me some online crashes and things like that it's well worth it at this price it's currently what 37 pounds 49 in the US and there's so much to do single player wise that by the time those patches do come you know you'll be fine it's got 15.8 gigabyte download and this one goes on a bit longer it goes on until December the 30th Then we've got the excellent Octopath Traveler. I wasn't sure if this was going to work out. Like, it's quite an ambitious idea of having these eight different stories that all overlapped with each other. But they pulled it off. Of course they pulled it off. It's, it's Square Enix, isn't it? I'm not saying that everything they do is amazing, but they do have a gift for creating awesome RPGs. It didn't hurt that it had a very unique and almost a new art style, which I believe, they, what did they call it? Was it 2.5 HD or something? 2D HD, that was it, wasn't it? It just looks stunning. This one is over 100 hours if you want to do everything, but it's one of those where it's fit into a nice small package of only 3.1 gigs. Prepare for eight adventures. Anyhow, here we are and discover what lies beyond the horizon. Each traveler has his or her own distinct abilities. These can be divided into path actions. Then you've got the awesome Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2. That's 45% off, so that's $21.99. And they're great. I reviewed these when they came out. It was so cool to have early copies of Tony Hawk's. I mean, that's like every little kid's dream, right? They stuck true to the originals. You'll find all the old classic stages, all the best ones. And I think they actually added in a few new um, skaters in here as well. In fairness, we, we really have had some good ports, haven't we? I think this one runs... Does this run on the Unreal Engine? And it's actually, you know, a good example. But it was that creator park mode that I loved the most. There's some incredible designs out there. There's, well, some ridiculous designs. Someone's made like this roller coaster. You just jump on the pipe and it just keeps, it gets real janky. But you just go flying faster and faster. Yeah, really good fun. Well worth it for this price. And it also has online one to eight player. Last two then, before we look at a couple of games you should avoid. And we've got the adults pick of the week. That's That that would be me. And some of you probably already know what I'm going to say. It's going to Monster Hunter Rise. 25% off. It's about to get a huge DLC. This is the time to jump in. I reviewed this way, you know, before it came out or day it came out. I honestly think most people can get into this game. It seems to have this big barrier to entry for some people. It seems to have. But then if you find a good group to play with online, it's just incredible. What's the point of it? Well, you're hunting monsters, you've got loads of different weapon styles, but each one's very different in terms of the skills that you have and, and chiefly how you can play them well. It's a very skill-based game. I think a few people didn't like the fact that, you know, the monsters now have damage numbers. They didn't have this in the past, but I personally don't mind it. And it gives you an indication of, you know, is this attack actually doing the optimum damage? Much of the game will be about the gear and the items as well. There's kind of two, two halves. There's like the, I want to look really good. And then there's the, I want to do the max damage. You can find a nice middle ground and it just has a much better online matchmaking system than previous versions of the game, or at least previous versions on Switch. This is much more like World in, in, in that regard. It's 10 gigs to download. It used a new um, 
visual technique because it has the RE engine, which is awesome news for the Switch owners, really, because hopefully we can see things like the Resident Evil 2 remaster, maybe Resident Evil 7 come to the Switch. But it looks incredible because it uses this technique that essentially renders at a lower resolution and then upscales it, but I don't want to bore you. So yeah, brilliant game, buy it. You look at it, about 150, 200 hours of gameplay and well worth it for $44.99. Okay, the kids picked this week then, and fair play, she's done me proud. I, I love this game, I reviewed it and thought it was great. It's Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time. This has offline one or two player, so you can play this with a friend. And it's Crash Bandicoot, except it's a new Crash Bandicoot. And not only will you get to play as Crash, but you also get to play as Coco. The levels are nicely designed, particular props has to go to ones like the pirate ships. Both of the characters, or the, I think there's, is there two characters or three characters? I can't even remember, um, but they, they control differently. They, there's, they've got their own different abilities. And then you'll also find alternate dimensions in here as well some decent boss fights and it's actually quite tricky at times but yeah this is this week's kids pick to just do the main game maybe about 20 or 30 hours depending on how good you are but if you want to find all of those hidden items and all of those hidden stages you could spend at least 80 hours in this one it's 25 percent off until december the 16th Okay, we have our two avoid games then. And I think this is going to be more of a discussion. This isn't for everyone in terms of would it be an avoid. It's not necessarily a bad game, but I don't think there's the player base there to actually justify buying it on Switch. And that's Worms Rumble. Now at the moment it's 75% off and there's potential here for an okay time. But honestly on Switch, there's just no one online. And it, I don't really like the game, honestly. It's like a Battle Royale style deathmatch. And it does supposedly support cross-platform, but I just can't find any games. You'll have to let me know. Have you been playing it recently? Maybe with the sale, there's loads of people online. It's not a terrible game. It's not an avoid in the truest sense of it being crap. It's just there's not many people online and there are probably better multiplayer games you could be playing. I personally prefer the old school Worms titles. And then last but not least, and this is one I'm quite happy to say avoid, is FIFA 22, the Legacy Edition. It's not the Legacy Edition. It's FIFA 22, the 2019 edition, with no added bonuses, nothing extra, except you pay more, and we throw in the rosters of the new players. GG. You've ported the Frostbite engine EA, you've used it for plants versus zombies, you've got the tech literally sat there ready. Why don't you just port the proper FIFA game? It's a pitch full of football players. Like, there's absolutely no reason other than one thing. And you know what it is, don't you, everybody? Ka-ching, it's money. As if they haven't got enough from selling fake little player cards. Ah, oh, ah, oh, just, ah. Oh. You have these stereotypes, don't you? And EA just keep living up to it. When I was a little kid and you had your white label games and it had EA on the box, you'd be like, oh yeah, that's decent. Look at that, it's an EA game. Our times have changed. Oh, I'm getting too old. But yeah, avoid this. Absolute garbage. I'm surprised they even updated the thumbnail. They might as well have just scratched out the one from last year and drawn a two over in a red pen. Done one of those red clickbait arrows and stuck that on there as well. Right, I'm going to stop moaning. <laughs> <laughs> thanks so much for watching i hope you are looking forward to our 12 days of switch up which starts tomorrow i know i've absolutely plugged the website here but honestly i mean you might as well save 10 percent more it just makes no sense to me why you wouldn't um it's what i've done especially when we've got these big 10 percent offs because they only last a certain amount of time um so yeah save yourself some money um thanks to our patrons you guys are amazing thanks to all of you that watch the channel if you're subscribed great if you're not subscribed then it's okay don't worry about it um but yeah for all things switch all the time keep it switch up cheers guys see ya